Hey guys, Melinda Haynes, license number 102308. So can you date your therapist? No, we can't. Um, I mean, well, you can. They can't date you, though. <laughs> it's, um, there's, there's laws, there's ethics, um, there's certain standards that a therapist has to follow. And dating clients is one of those things. We can't do it. Now, um, there is a law that has to do with, you know, two years, at least minimum of two years before any kind of um, physical activity goes on with a therapist and a former client. However, you know, there's a caution out there and I would caution, you know, myself, I would caution you if you're considering dating a former therapist that there is a power differential. And if this person is um, feeling attraction towards their client, or clients, there's um, something that they need to deal with there. Okay, it's typically seen as a transference issue. And so if, if they're feeling it towards their clients, it's a counter transference issue. And that's something that they need to work out with their own therapist. And with the power differential, that means that they're taking advantage of the client's vulnerability and their, their weak, maybe weaker state or um, I'm going to say weaker, but that doesn't even sound right because going to therapy is really strong, okay? But being vulnerable with somebody can, um, can contribute to having like strong attraction feelings towards them. So if the client is feeling those attraction feelings towards the therapist, the therapist should be dealing with it in a therapeutic manner where it's healing and helpful for the client to move forward, you know, in their own life stronger and healthier because of the experience, because of the way that that particular issue was dealt with. Now, when the therapist or the psychologist takes advantage of that situation and therefore, you know, engages in a relationship with the client, that's just abusing power. I mean, there's really no other way around it. So if you are facing this, this situation, I would suggest, you know, talk about it. Um, talk about it with the therapist if, they, if they're if they able to handle it appropriately. And if not, I would suggest perhaps getting another therapist. And that's, I know nobody likes to hear that because that's it's a hard thing to do sometimes. But just to protect yourself, to protect your heart, to guard your heart, to make sure that you're not uh, moving into a relationship that's just not healthy. It's, it's, it's an imbalance and it's starting off in an inappropriate way way and it's that's never a good idea so um yeah if you have any more questions please um let me know thank you thanks for watching